Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. Today we're gonna tie a small jig. Um, just about the right size to use for panfish, for trout, for a lot of species. Um, you can fish this on a fly rod, heavy fly rod, or you can fish it on super light spinning tackle. Uh, the basic material in this is these super soft partridge colored um, mottled feathers from a whiting soft neck. And my very own peacock sparkle color in woolly sparkled up. Just these two materials, that's all. The dubbing is brushed out and give a flashy appearance. Um, let's get on with tying. I attach the tying thread. I choose a couple of feathers from this whiting soft patch. Measure up where I want the feathers to be cleaned up for, for tying. Then I tie in these two feathers splayed. Here's a top view. Then I prepare another haggle. Isolate the tip. And cut off. Then I use this feather for building a base around the, the two tail feathers which actually simulate claws. Then I make a dubbing loop. Put my dubbing loop twister in. Then I prepare some woolly sparkle dub in the color peacock sparkle. Put it in the dubbing loop. Twist 
twist. And brush out. Then I have a, essentially a rope of very fussy dubbing here. When it's tied in, it uh, looks like kind of a mess, but we'll do something about that. I'll take the toothbrush. You can use any kind of brush, dubbing needle to do this. We want to get these fibers out and get the flashy parts glowing in the dubbing and get rid of any loose fibers in the same process. Then I prepare another filler, this time for the front haggle. I make sure I pull all the haggle fibers back between each turn. Cut off and make a winding here to cover up the butts of the feather. Make whip finish. And all we need now is final touch in a bit of UV lacquer on the windings. And here's the critter underwater. Thanks for watching.